Oh, Eminem. But the only thing you have in common with Tom McDonald is that you guys are two white guys. That's about it. But the real difference is Tom McDonald isn't responsible for driving an entire generation of kids off a cliff into a world of degeneracy, drugs, and ultimately dead ends. You, Marshall Mathers, sat profiting off that whole operation to steer suburban youth into a subversive mindset. Like a mainstream version of Monster Magnet, Spine of God era, which drove a whole subculture of fuzz guitar loving kids into LSD, heroin, dead ends, and death. I watch kids yank on the Spine of God, like Dave Wendorf says, and never come back, you know what I mean? And peace isn't what they got from the Chemical King. Horrible things happen because of the subcultures like the one Monster Magnet created back then. And we can see the fruits of them now in Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and now all over every downtrodden area that we drive through. And Marshall Mathers is no different. We are seeing the, the fruits of Slim Shady now. The difference between Monster Magnet and Eminem is Eminem was a much bigger operation. At least Nick Elaveri had real swats around his house and probably had real rounds in his weapon. You know, you're calling a guy a copycat who refuses to drive a generation of kids into desperation and death. In fact, you cried about your trailer park days all the time while ensuring that an entire generation of kids would end up in trailer parks. At best, at worst, you were killing off your own people. But you're not alone, Marshall. What they branded as grunge did the same thing. It was nothing more than an operation. The use of this downer music during the mass assault of mass weaponized ELF mixed with pop culture weapons like Pulp Fiction created an entire generation of stoners, junkies, and freaks who felt like shit all the time and didn't know why and believed that they could be an anti-hero artist with little heroin. And then they soon found out that Lane Staley's lyrics like, uh, I don't go broke and I do it a lot, and I bet you can do it like me and it ain't so bad, weren't true. It didn't work for them. And most of those kids are dead now, just like Lane Staley. And it didn't matter what the intended message was by these people making these records, a generation of 14 to 22 year olds are going to take the message differently. And they did. In fact, this happened just today. Swear to God, I was driving down the road in Metro Detroit when I saw this dude walking along the side of the road. Tired looking, no car, and probably due to numerous DUIs and no driver's license, he looked old. Like a real weathered 36, still sporting his M&M style clothes and probably heading to the party store for a pint of cheap gin and a bottle of juice at 3 p.m. You know, kid looks over and blurts out, that's the real Slim Shady, and we both started laughing, but it was sad. He still wore the uniform from his youth, but also wore all the signs of his own destruction. It was like seeing the past and the future at the same time, like a crystal ball. This is what Eminem helped create, not something to be proud of, something that has done massive harm and destruction, and zero good to be seen. You know, I spent my entire youth trying to work into the music industry, and once there, I realized that it was a disgusting place to be. And I completely regret spending any time within that subversive cultural weapon. While you continue to virtue signal to all these scumbags in your 50s, you're either mentally stunted or you're lying to yourself, and I'm not sure which is worse. So to Eminem, having such a huge, out-of-whack ego to believe that Tom McDonald is anything like you is astounding to me. You are part of the degenerative, homicidal, cultural apparatus, and Tom McDonald has the balls to speak out about it. You are the equivalent of gangster rap compared to Public Enemy, a negative force designed to overtake and dissolve anything good or productive. And deep down, you know what I'm saying is 100% true. Sadly, you have zero awareness of what is happening in the streets today, in the minds of the masses. You are parroting the government narrative while believing in your head that you're rebelling. They flipped the script over a decade ago, Marshall. You're the one that stuck in 1999, not Tom McDonald. And your behavior and your words prove it. Maybe someday you'll grow enough balls to admit it. But I don't predict that. You'll sit in your gated house like the rest of them, growing more and more out of touch by the day. And in the meantime, Tom McDonald will end up with something that he can actually be proud of.